Go ahead. Our, our topic for this presentation is business intelligence and decision making. Now, as we know, business intelligence and decision making. Now, as we know, business information as a whole is a very important organ and very important section of any business organizations. Now, big companies like Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, and every other cutting and every other big firm have and make use of very cutting edge information systems to help in their business intelligence and also decision making. Now, in the course of this presentation, we're going to see the, how the nature of information systems help with business decisions and also gaining business intelligence for different organizations. Now, we're going through the analysis of patterns, trends, and relationships, and how business and information systems help with this. Now, online analytical processing, the OLAP, is a, is a very is a sophisticated business software used to process huge amounts of data from data warehousing, from data warehouses. Now, big, on a, big organizations like Tesla and Twitter and Microsoft have very huge amounts of data for their users and their customers. So the OLAP has, the use of the OLAP helps with the flexible and multi-dimensional multi analysis of for the business intelligence for these companies. Now, business analytics. Now, the term, the term, the, sorry, data analytics. The term data analytics refers to the processes of examining data sets to draw conclusions about the information they contain. Now, data analytics techniques enables you to take raw data and cover patterns to extract valuable insights from it. Now, on the Twitter app, there, there's an option for every user, for users to check out the trends on a particular tweet or the, or the trend on their accounts. Now, a company, a company like Coca-Cola can bring out a product. A company like Coca-Cola can bring that, can bring out a new product, and through the use of Twitter, they can know the reactions of their customers, how many likes that particular product is going to get, how many retweets and the comments on them, and they take this data and they compare them to every other opinions that they have and know if this product is worthy to be continued or if this product is worthy to be discontinued. And that is how this companies, they analyze traffic with these data sets. And with the use of OLAP, since, this, since there's very huge amount of data, with the use of OLAP, these companies have the ability and the software to be able to organize these data sets. Okay, now on to you. Opeinka, business intelligence. All right, business intelligence. First, what, what do we mean by business intelligence? Right. Business intelligence involves the combination of um, various tools like data mining, data visualization, in order to um, get data from various sources, various activities of the organization. It involves the procedures and the technical infrastructure to collect, to store, and to analyze the data produced by the company. All right, so we have several ways by which the business intelligence analyzes the data. We have the predictive analysis. This predictive analysis uses data that has been collected by the organization to predict future outcomes of the organization. So those data that are collected now are analyzed and then they are used to determine what is the possible action or possible outcomes that we realize if we take certain steps. So that's the predictive analysis of business intelligence. 
onto the descriptive analysis. Descriptive analysis collects data and then keeps track of the performance and different trends of those activities in the organization. For example, the various social media platforms of the organization is um, strictly followed and the activities on these various platforms, are the, the track records are kept and they are used to determine how the customers react, interact rather with the organization and which of these platforms provide or generate more revenue to the company. So the descriptive analysis keeps record of the activities of the company. Now to the prescriptive analysis. This prescriptive analysis helps us to determine the optimal course of action for the organization. It's like when a diagnosis of a problem has been made and then a solution is being provided. So the prescriptive analysis is like providing a suitable solution to the problem of the organization. For example, if the um, the, in, the customers have been interacting positively on a particular social media platform, then the organization will be able to determine what promotion or what advertisement will be best to use on that particular um, social media platform to be able to attract more customers. So the prescriptive analysis is there to ensure that the optimal course of action is taken to better enhance the organization. And there are various tools that business intelligence use in to help aid the decision-making of an organization, like OLAP, the online analytical processor, the um, mobile business intelligence, so many tools there that organizations can make use of, so many modern tools that they can make use of to better improve their decision making. Now there are advantages of business intelligence and we have data clarity. We have data clarity, we have um, increased efficiency. When there is a clear data, then the efficiency of the organization is improved. We have better customer experience. The data that has been collected, we help the organization to interact better with their customers. There is improved employee satisfaction. When data are collected from the employees on how satisfied they are with the services that they provide, it helps the employees to perform better at their job. There is quality data. There is also accurate reporting. When you want to report, um, for example, annual general meetings, when you want to make reports to the shareholders or members of board, there are accurate data and reporting given to the shareholders. Although, however, there are disadvantages for using business intelligence, which may include a high initial cost. There is high initial cost when you want to implement these um, processes. And sometimes users may be resistant to use these um, modern tools and the data skills gap. Some people may not know how to efficiently use these particular um, tools. Now moving on to dashboards, dashboards and quarters in business intelligence. Dashboard is a business intelligence tool that includes information management and data visualization that helps to analyze data. It combines charts, graphs, and reports of from various data and put them in a in um in a particular place where users can easily have a quick overview of all the data that they need in a particular place. It helps the users of the data when they go to this particular dashboard, all the necessary information they need is there and they can easily make data-driven decisions based on those data without having to source from several different um, sources for various information. Those information are just there. And we have three types of dashboard, which are the operational dashboard, the strategic dashboard, and the analytic dashboard. This dashboard as well have advantages, and it includes assisting shareholders to make data-driven decisions. 
informed decision. So when they have all the information they need in one place, it helps them to make decisions on time. It also saves time. It saves time in, in that they don't need to go from one place to the other searching for um for the for the information that they need. All they need is to go to the dashboard and all the information they need is readily available. It can also be updated real time. The updating of dashboards, of these modern dashboards, are done in real time and doesn't take longer process. For the portals, portals are also similar to dashboards. Yes, so they bring all this information together and they are unique to each particular company. So which helps to improve the overall image of the brand. So this portal helps the um, users to be able to search for information when they need this. And they, they can just go to the company's portal, click on search button and search for the particular information they need, which will help them to make the decision that they want to make. So the benefits of dashboards and portals include assisting shareholders to draw conclusions, enhancing the efficiency of the analysis. It helps to make better data-driven decision and the update is in real time and it also saves time. So these are the advantages of business intelligence to an organization.